Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 45. Lesson number 45, we are learning right now how to add and subtract like terms, how to add and subtract algebraic expressions. The problem that we have today is very straightforward, very simple. There's the problem. We are asked to subtract. We are asked to subtract a squared plus 2ab minus 3b plus 4 from 2a squared minus 3ab minus 9. First thing first, first thing first, always remember that when you're subtracting one, when you're, uh, when, you're, when you're asked to subtract one expression from the other, it's just like being asked to subtract a number from another number. For example, if somebody tells you to subtract, if somebody tells you to subtract 7 from 9, 7 from 9, even though the 9 appears on the bottom, appears later in the sentence, subtract 7 from 9, 9 appears uh, later in the sentence, still, when you actually do the subtraction, 9 goes first, and then goes 7. The exact same logic applies here. We have to subtract this top expression from the bottom expression. The expression from which we are doing subtracting has to be written first. The expression from which we are doing the subtracting, which is this expression here, has to be written first. 2a squared minus 3ab minus 9. And the expression that we are doing and the, and the expression that is being subtracted has to go at the bottom. So a squared plus 2ab minus 3b. You see minus 3b is, is not going to line up with negative 9, so I'm going to push the negative 9 out. Minus 3b and then positive 4. So now the numbers line up. There is no b of the first expression, so we, we by first expression we mean this one. This actually is the first expression or the top expression if you like. There is no b in the top expression as you can see, the b by itself. It has a b, it has a squared, it has a constant but no b's. That's why we have the room here, etc. Now everything is lined up. This has a positive sign, this has a positive sign, there is only one of them here. Now the next thing we have to do in order to actually do the subtracting is to take the bottom expression and change the sign of every single exponent. Change the sign. This positive is going to become negative. This positive is going to become negative. This negative is going to become positive. This positive is going to become negative. And once we have done that, now it's just a matter of adding the, adding the coefficient. A positive 2 and a negative 1 is going to give us positive 1. Positive 1 a squared. Even though we don't have to write the positive and you don't have to write the 1. We could have simply written a squared. But I'm writing here just for emphasis. A negative 3 and a negative 2 is going to give us negative 5ab. This negative 3b became positive 3b. And a negative 9 and a negative 4 is going to give us our negative 13. That's our answer. Right here. This is, this is the answer. Let me just verify it. a squared minus 5ab plus 3b minus 13. Now what we're going to do is we're going to redo the same example in a different way, in a different method. I need the room so I'm going to erase the top. We're going to do the exact same problem in a different method. So here we go. 2a squared minus 3ab minus 9. And from that we're going to subtract a squared minus 5ab. a squared minus 5ab plus 3b minus, minus a squared minus 2ab. I'll begin to read this thing here. Minus 2ab, or rather, plus 2ab, minus 3b, a squared, plus 2ab, minus 3b, plus a 4. I wasn't paying attention and I started reading this bottom one, which is the answer. Now watch what happens. This guy just comes down the way it is. 2a squared, minus 3ab, minus 9, it just comes down. The fun part starts here. 
this one has a positive sign in front of it. This a squared, as you can see, it's a positive sign in front of it. When we open the parentheses, this negative and the positive is going to become negative a squared. This negative and this positive is going to become negative times positive is negative. So positive 2ab turns into a negative 2ab. You see, positive 2ab turns into a negative 2ab. Negative 3b, this negative times a negative is going to become positive, positive 3b. You see, negative 3b became positive 3b. And finally, this negative times the positive is going to give us negative 4. The positive 4 turns into a negative 4. That's what's going on here. Now we simply have to simplify it. I see 2a squared here, positive 2a squared and a negative a squared. Positive 2 and a negative 1 is just a positive 1, so I give you get a squared. Minus 3ab, let's put it in a different color now. We see a minus 3ab, minus 3ab, 3 of them, negative 3, and a negative 2. That's going to give us negative 5ab negative 5 AB right here then we get uh, then we get our positive 3 B because there is no B on this side and finally we have a negative 9 and a negative 4 negative 9 and negative 4 we gives us negative 13 right here you see we get the same answer of course we get the same answer there are just two different methods of subtracting algebraic expressions. Which method should you do? Answer is both. Do both of them always to make sure you get the right answer. Once you, once you get to a stage where you say to yourself that I have arrived, as in I'm conversant in it, I'm conversant in algebra. Let's learn this word conversant, shall we? I just used it, let's learn it. What does it mean to be conversant at something? I must have covered it. Oh jeez. Oh there you go, on day number three, what do you know? Just type in Keshwani prep dash vocab dash day three and you will learn the word conversant. Just like just like the video that you're watching right now, which is has to do with algebra obviously, just like that. I have videos on geometry, and if you want to watch those geometry videos, just type in this tag Kishwani Prep dash geometry dash day three, and you'll see what I covered in geometry. Just search for that. Just use that tag. If you want to learn the, uh, if you want to improve your vocabulary, I have vocabulary videos on the YouTube. Just type in Kishwani Prep dash vocab dash day three, and you will learn this word conversant. Vocabulary words that are that are good words to know. Not only to not 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 only for the sake of learning, not only for the sake of improving your English language, but also particularly, especially, if you are planning to sit in the near future for the SAT or the GRE or the GMAT or the TOEFL for any of these exams, uh, you need to have a decent vocabulary. Anyway, conversion means conversion means to be skilled at something, to be skilled at something, to be good at something. So once you have arrived to that stage where you are skilled and you're very confident about it, you're very cocky, I don't make mistakes, I know my algebra, then you can just do one method or the other. But right now, do both the methods and make sure you get the same answer. Do you understand? That was the end of our day number 45. That also happens to be the end of my sermon. As always, Amen. I will see you on day number 46. Oh, also, I need to change this thing. This, this, this is getting pushed out again. I promise you in the next five days, I am going to finish it because I have five more problems that I want to do and I'm going to do one each day and it will be finished and then we'll do the, then we'll talk about the multiplication then we'll talk about the multiplication how to multiply and divide algebraic expressions which of course I will also not be able to do it in 10 days that's going to probably turn into a 20 or 30 day saga but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but right now as it stands we're going to, next five days I'm going to do to continue doing five more problems and then we'll be done with this concept of learning how to add and subtract algebraic expressions. I will see you tomorrow on day number 46. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, you can go to any of these website addresses and you will find the link for the email and you will also find the toll-free number. All right? Or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and the same information will appear there. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.